Hey guys, today let's play a game of Planet X3. Um, this is an indie DOS game that was developed quite recently actually, uh, in 2018. And uh, the de developer of this game is a famous YouTuber called the 8-Bit Guy. And um, I'm a huge fan of 8-Bit Guy because I watch his YouTube a lot and he makes all these videos about you know vintage computers and and uh, Commodore 64, old DOS games and stuff like that. Uh, so of course, uh, when he announced Planet X3 on Kickstarter, um, I backed it. So this was back in 2018 and um, finally, um, now obviously the game came out like two years ago, but I haven't really had a chance to actually check out this game. I had the, the Kickstarter reward. <laughs> I mean, I have the game in my collection, I just didn't really get around to playing it. Um, but this is the latest version uh, that's been updated um, on Kickstarter. So yeah, guys, Planet X3 by the 8-Bit Guy, and it's a real-time strategy game. So I'm pretty interested because, you know, I love RTS games. So, alright, and I don't think this game has any mouse support. It was uh, built originally for um, the old, like the original IBM PC, so it only has keyboard support. Uh, and it originally had CGA support. Of course, I'm playing it on uh, VGA mode right now, though. All right, so um, I'm gonna set the difficulty to easy. And I'm just playing. I'm just starting out. I haven't really played this game before. And we have a few different maps here: Yatal, Two Islands, Jungle, Inferno, North Pole, Logo World, Desert Rocks. There's actually a lot of maps here for. Um, a game of this size. Remember that this game only fit on one floppy disk, okay? So it's a very small game, but uh, they put a decent amount of maps on here. <clears throat> Alright, let's try Great Lakes, I guess. Of course, uh, we got credits. So David Murray is the 8-bit guy, so he's the main developer of this game, but of course he has some help as well um, for this particular version. I didn't get the physical copy, I only got the um, digital download, so I don't have any physical unboxing to do, but I heard that the physical box was very good as well. And you know, I don't really have any computers that can read floppies anyways, so... <laughs> yeah. Alright, let's start out. <clears throat> so this is an RTS game. So uh, unlike other RTS games that I've played before, even on DOS, there's no mouse support. So I had to basically take control of all these guys using tab, that's how I switch between them. And these are my builders, I guess. I started with three builders here. Uh, so that's what we can build. Um, so yeah, all keyboard only, no mouse. Uh, to build a smelter, I think that is our uh, way of getting resources. And there's three different resources where we can... There's three different resources... Oh, that's how it builds. Okay, it goes around in like a little circle, okay. Yeah, oh, that's interesting. Okay, that's cool. Um, so there's three resources, there's crystals or minerals, then there's gas, and there is energy. So, so three. <clears throat> so, let's see. You build a factory. So, I wonder if I can select a building. What does my headquarters even do? Bulldoze. Pick up wall and bridge. Okay, so I guess I can build some walls here, right? These are basically basic defensive structures. Nope. Nope, we can set the one here. Okay. So that's a factory. Power station, this is for getting energy, I think. Okay, so that's my power station, that's for getting energy resources. Solar panels I can use for energy as well, I guess. Music's pretty good. And I'm playing in VGA mode, so yeah, this this goes all the way down to CGA. <laughs> and I don't want to play in 16 bits, 16 color CGA, I mean. Um, of course I like VGA though. It's really good. Gas refinery. Oh, that's, I think you gotta build them on these geysers. That's to get gas. Yep. Can only build them on these geysers, I guess. Mm 
And there's not that many units in this game, I don't think. Not many buildings either, so it's not like a game like StarCraft or Warcraft where you can have a huge amount of buildings and units to build, it's not like that. <coughs> yeah, there's only a few units. Radar Station, Missile Silo Headquarters, that's pretty much it. It's a radar station. <coughs> and, uh... We'll try the Missile Silo. That's a missile silo. Okay. How do we select these buildings here? Headquarters. Oh, that's for bulldozing, I guess. Oops, I don't mean to bulldoze anything. How do I select the buildings? I should figure that out. Let's pick up item. I wonder if they can mine some resources. How do I go and mine resources here? Nope, can't bulldoze that. Okay, let's pick that one up. Let's pick that one up. Can okay, drop it off at the drop off. Oops. This one. Uh hold on. Yeah, to drop it off at the smelter, right? Or just drop it off there. Oh, I see, and then it gets taken, huh? Interesting. Okay, and just drop it off here. Then they get taken. Hmm. Okay. Thought this smelter would work. Okay, I guess it did process it. Maybe it just takes time? I'm wondering how this processing works. <laughs> Not really sure how it processes these minerals and crystals. <clears throat> okay. Okay, so it did process that. Interesting, this takes time. I guess it slowly gets processed. Aha, uh -huh, I found a way to do it to switch to the buildings. Interesting, okay. So I'm using my numpad to actually do it page up and page down, that's how you do it. Okay, so you page up and page down to select building. So smelter. Okay, so that's what it's doing. See that? It just takes time to actually process the, the minerals, I guess. So you gotta leave it in front of the smelter and it'll process the minerals, but very, very slowly. Headquarters that doesn't really do anything. Just tells you how many vehicles and buildings you have. And 
how many units you'd have. Okay. Missile silo. What can I build here? Build. Build a missile. Okay, scan. Metallic. Metallic objects. Okay, hydro scan. Thermal. Oscillate. Okay. Need more energy, I guess. Power station. Oh, I need to connect a panel to it. Connect a panel zero, okay. I need to connect a panel to that. Let's see. The factory can build a unit. So the factory, there's only three units that I can build. The builder, the tank, and the heavy tank. That's pretty much it. Let's see. Oh, let's see, that's how I build one. Build a heavy tank then. My only offense, there's only two offensive units I can build, which is tank and heavy tank. Not a whole lot of units, but yeah. Is this how I connect a solar panel? Just build it right beside it. Still says connected panels there. How do I connect it? Put it right beside it. Hmm. How do I connect it then? Like I build it right beside it. How is it not connected? Looks like a missile launcher. Okay. Mm, need more minerals, more energy to build. Here. Okay, let's see what I can do with my tank. Where's the enemies? Supposedly they're alien enemies, but... I don't know. <laughs> Wait, they me. Get more minerals. How do I connect this solar panel? Power generator. If I just build it right beside each other, right? This should be all I need to do. Oh, here we go. Connected panels one. There we go. Now it knows it's connected. Let's we'll build it right beside it. That should be fine. <clears throat> so now we're generating some energy here. Nice. Let's build some heavy tanks. I'm not gonna play around, man. Heavy tanks. Oh, here we go. Oh shit. Attack them. Put them in sentry mode. I have a, a mode called sentry mode. And convert to basically the siege mode, right? <laughs> it's basically siege mode right there. And convert them into siege mode, that's right. <clears throat> and they automatically attack, I guess. Should, anyways. So this is a little bit hard to control a lot of units at once since you can only select one unit at a time. So yeah. Oh shit. There we go. Oh, they're coming in from this way too, huh? So I feel sentry mode for that. Kill him. Yes. Base. Oh shit. 
Yeah, this is a very much a ma <laughs> manual process. I have to manually control everything. Every unit has to be individually selected. from over here or something. Okay, interesting. Okay, I'm gonna build more uh, sentries. How many units I can have? I heard the number was like 64 in total or something like that. Okay. Yeah, you don't want to come here, boy. You want to come here, boy? I'll slaughter you. There's a way to select everything at once, but there isn't. I wonder where their base is. Yeah, there's a big map. Okay, I wonder where their base is. This is a big map. Much bigger than I expected. <laughs> I wish I had a mini map. I don't get any of the uh, accoutrements that you get with um, even more modern like DOS games than this. I mean, this game was like created fairly recently, but I think this is supposed to be meant to uh, as an homage to really early DOS levels. So it's like you're talking about late 80s probably. Because if you go into um, oh shit, <laughs> okay. One of my tanks just got destroyed. Okay. Interesting. Things so manual. I think this is meant to be like, um, kind of like an early, early DOS game, like eight, late '80s, right? Mid to late '80s. Whereas uh, even later games, like you're talking about RTS games, like Dune, Dune Two. Um, those games came out in the early 90s, and I think this is meant to be like the late 80s, so it's not even meant to be as advanced as Dune 2, which a lot of people consider Dune 2 to be like one of the first real, you know, modern RTS game. But yeah, this is before that even. <laughs> okay, where? Oh shit, look, there's a whole bunch of guys over there. Holy shit. 
That's a lot of guys. They're all in the water too. Why are they all in the water? <laughs> Why are they all in the water? Sentry mode this shit. <coughs> oh shit. They wreck their forces over here. many. It's actually kind of fun, even though it's very uh, limited. It's actually kind of fun. Well, I don't know. Maybe I just like RTS games a lot, but <coughs> yeah. Yes. 
Yeah, I kill a lot of guys. Oh shit, there's so many. There are so many here. process pretty fast. coming from? Where's the base? Oh shit. Oh shit. How dare you destroy my builder? So many guys. God, it's never ending. Oh, 
Oh shit. Oh shit, they're invading my base. Oh my god. Invading my base. got destroyed, no wonder. Okay, one of my refineries got destroyed. Okay. Need to build a refinery. guys how do they get so many guys doesn't make sense how do they get so many guys
shoot. I need more minerals. I don't have any minerals. I, don't, I can't even build a builder. <laughs> oh no, I think I'm screwed. I'm kind of screwed because I can't build a builder. Yeah. I can't build a builder because I don't have enough minerals, and I need a builder to get minerals, so I'm kind of screwed here. <laughs> I'm pretty screwed. Alright. Uh, interesting. Transparency, sound music, mouse control. Oh, interesting. It does have mouse control. Well, uh, I'm playing with just keyboard then. Anyways, uh, yep. Pretty much lost that game. Because uh, my, all my builders died, and I need builders to get minerals, and I can't build a builder without minerals, so... Yeah. Anyways, that's Planet X3. Pretty interesting uh, RTS game that's made fairly recently for DOS. And it's definitely one of those really, really early type of... Um, uh, let's, let's just say that it's a pretty primitive RTS game, right? It's definitely not like even like Dune 2, which is uh, one of the earliest, you know, modern RTS games, so... Yep, just, um, if you guys decide to get Planet X3, which I think you should, if you guys like indie DOS games, which is not a very common thing, um, just support the 8-bit guy, uh, he's worked very hard on this, um, but yeah, just, uh, don't expect anything like StarCraft or, uh, Warcraft or, you know, Command & Conquer or anything like that, it's not those kind of games, not as, <laughs> not as easy to pick up and play, and it's only like two units to build, so... Very basic game, but still very kind of fun, I think. So I, I kind of just enjoy that playing that um, still. So, anyways, yeah, not a big budget game, but um, still pretty fun to play. That's it, guys. Planet X3 for DOS. Um, and that's it, guys. Thanks for watching.